To our community focus, all eyes are on the $2,000 stimulus checks being considered by Congress. And here to give us an update, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. Senator, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Good to be with you, Kim. Senator, a lot of people are wondering, what is the status of these potential $2,000 checks for Americans? We know the House has passed the measure and the President is in support of it, but it needs the Senate's approval. So can you give us an inside update on where things stand at this hour? Yes, I can. So uh, the background of this is that Democrats wanted this. Um, Republicans did not. Uh, the President, President Trump, decided that he wanted it also. And he went through this long exercise of not signing the bill in order to get votes on the 2000 increase. Uh, Speaker Pelosi has cleared it through the House. It has passed. It had strong Republican support in the House. So if we can pass it in the Senate, it becomes law. The problem is Mitch McConnell. He has very little interest in passing it. And what we're hearing right now is that he will not bring up the House bill, which would be the easy thing to do to get it passed, um, but difficult for some of uh, the politics of some of his members, and that he's going to bring up a different bill that is loaded up with poison pills of various kinds to try to make Democrats vote it down so that he can achieve that political victory and keep the uh, dollars at 600. So that is going to frustrate some members of his caucus who have publicly called for the full 2,000. Um, the Republicans are not unanimous in opposing it. So we're just gonna have to see how this plays out. But the latest is that Mitch will not call up the House passed bill and give it a clean vote. If he gave it a clean vote, I think it would pass into law and we'd be on our way to the $2,000 payment. So, Senator, level with us here with this new bill in contention. I know you talk often to your Senate colleagues. How realistic is it at this point that we are going to be getting these $2,000 checks? I think it's a toss up at this point, and it depends an enormous amount on the pressure that is put on Mitch McConnell by his own Republican members, and particularly the two vulnerable ones in Georgia who face election January 6th. I think more than anything else, he wants to help them, but he can often help them by giving them a way to vote for it in a way that doesn't pass um, by arranging a vote that they can be for, but that will fail. So he's a crafty individual and he does not want this to pass and he controls the Senate floor and that's a bad combination. Senator, it is not often that we see Democrats and President Trump on the same page, but he is, as you mentioned, a proponent of these $2,000 checks. So how does it feel to be in agreement with the president on this issue? Well, it happened once before when I got my ocean plastics bill passed, and uh, President Trump said he was all for it and signed the bills, two of them, into law, and even um, invited me up to the Oval Office for a signing. So it's rare, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. And, Senator, you mentioned the ocean plastics bill. Of course, there has been a lot of focus on the stimulus, um, but there has been other work going on in Congress. So what other bills from this year do you want our viewers to know about? Well, the other big bill, of course, was the uh, omnibus, the appropriations bill, into which we got, oh, gosh, a whole array of, of bills, um, ocean plastics measures, climate change bills, we got the hydrofluorocarbons bill passed, which is worth a whole half degree. Global warming, it's a big deal when you're in the climate fight. Um, and we were able to shut down um, crooked shell corporations and make sure that the Treasury has a look into who's really behind a shell corporation, which is going to be very, very helpful at helping fight international crime and kleptocracy. So these are all small measures that got put into the big bill, but they were all measures of mine, and I'm really happy that we got them passed. And Senator, just quickly before we let you go, I'm curious if you have any New Year's resolutions for 2021. Oh, a better year. Yes, we can all hope for that. All right, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks so much, Kim.